Woke up this morning very early, 6.30, even before the sun. Went outside, still in the trees, but that bright orange of the morning sun wanted to share with you all. At the same time, before looking at the spectacular sun footage that I got and the closest views I've ever shown, trolls are going to cry. Watch the zoom-ups. Watch the close-ups. Obviously, not just magnifying with the editor. I'm filming the sun a lot closer too as I've been doing the this process and explaining it throughout my research rate. <laughs> I hope you all remember that. Chemtrails. So this is before uh, after sorry having filmed the sun. It was this is 8:30 in the morning. We see one, two, three, all the chemtrails veering around. And then we're gonna head over to the sun filmed this morning. Really close up. I've been talking about a dark line seen sometimes in the sky. Well, guess what? It turns out the shadow, unless from where you are, your viewpoint filming it, it has to be aligned with the sun for the shadow to be aligned with the chemtrail. And now we know about the mysterious dark line. This one was a little too far away. Let's head over to the sun today. All right, wow, so there's a lot going on. Definitely a lot going on. Plasma lifting up on the left, plasma lifting up on the right. In the center, 2960, very, very large spot. Plasma clouds lifting up or off around it. And of course, now we're magnified and I filmed with the P900, the Nikon, a camera, 2000 millimeters. I'm not out 2000 millimeters, obviously. I'm about 1500 millimeters, maybe 1600. Because if you get too close, the Nikon's not gonna focus. Maybe it will sometimes, but either way, there's a limitation that we can zoom up on to the sun, right? So these are some cool ways of viewing today's sun. This morning's sun, this is very early, by the way, it's around 7.30, just over the horizon as the sun's lifting up. It's probably even worse now. Maybe I'll get some more shots. Uh, at the end of the video, you're going to see a very, very close-up way of viewing the sunspots. We get it about as big as a dime approximately any bigger than that i'd be nah you know I'd, I'd have a hubble unfortunately i don't some music up with today's sun and then we get in really close with the strong magnification so now again i'm not with the strong magnification yet wait till we get in you'll see how close we are
It's a lot of work, but boy, is it worth it. So now I'm going to magnify the P900 a lot stronger and closer before bringing it into the editor. This is nothing, just getting started, but still already a lot clearer. Much clearer. You see the plasma lifting up on the left. The spots are closer. They're larger. We can see more of the small spots. More near the end of the video, you're going to see an extreme close magnification and I'm going to be doing more tests like that. It's a lot longer to do, but boy, can we see the details. And when those sunspots really start erupting with solar flares and CMEs, we're definitely going to get a chance to see it from here to the summer. You'll see what I mean when we get to the end of the video. And at the same time, when there's a massive CME, we'll see it exploding in very, very close detail this way. The 2960 in the center, the very bright one there, is um, it, it consists of seven sunspots being watched, of course. The scientists are watching it. It's big. The one on the left, very concerning if it becomes large. So the idea is that if they emerge, it gets very, very dangerous. Right? So now let's get in really close um, as I zoomed up with the P900 as close, almost as close as I could to be able to take a look at the 2960 sunspot. I hope you appreciate it. I know you do. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let's head over to that sunspot close up right now. When a large explosion occurs, a solar eruption, I will see it, we'll get it really clearly. This is really close. I've just started doing a few tests, but I'm able to see some things lifting up right there out of the sunspot, so to come. By filming a lot closer, when I can, when it's not windy because if not don't even think of it we can see the plasma clouds lifting up off of the sunspot right there and going towards the exterior so when a big sunspot or cme happens imagine filming it this close we'll get a really good view of it thanks for watching everyone <laughs> Doesn't matter cause disclosure's coming soon.